In today's video, I am going to explain what is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. See here, any equation of the form a n is equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus and so on c k a n minus k plus g of n where c1, c2, c3 and so on c k are the real numbers and here g of n is a function not identically 0 depending only on n. See here, so this is of the form non-homogeneous recurrence relation or in homogeneous recurrence relation. So for finding the general solution, we have to find the homogeneous solution as well as the particular solution. In my earlier videos, I explained you how to find the homogeneous solution. See coming to the particular solution, if this g of n, if this g of n is a constant, then our assumption of a particular solution be d. So it's again a constant. If g of n is of the form c0 plus c1n so our particular solution be d0 plus d1k and if it is of r par n so our assumption will be d into r par n so using these so we will be finding the particular solution and after getting the particular solution see here general solution will be a n is equal to a n of h plus a n of p where a n is the homogeneous solution and a n of p is nothing but the particular solution and let's get started to solve one problem so of this type see here solve the recurrence relation so which one we have to solve we have to solve the recurrence relation a n is equal to 2 times of a n minus 1 plus 2 power n. See here, first one, the given recurrence relation is the given non-homogeneous recurrence relation is, see here, non-homogeneous recurrence relation is nothing but a n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 is equal to 2 power n. So, first of all, the characteristic equation is, see here, the homogeneous, the homogeneous recurrence relation is, see for this, the homogeneous recurrence relation is a n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, the characteristic equation is, see, the characteristic equation is, so, the characteristic equation is, so this is r minus 2 is equal to 0 and r is equal to 2. So, we got the root as 2. So, after getting the root, how to find this uh, homogeneous solution? So, a n of h is equal to some constant that is c1 into, this is 2 power n. So, this is a, the solution a, the homogeneous solution. See here, so there is 2 as a characteristic root. So, we got 2 as a characteristic and here g of n is equal to 2 power n. Since, see here, since r h s of the recurrence relation is here 2 power n and 2 is the character and 2 is the characteristic root and 2 is the So, 2 is the characteristic root. Therefore, let a n, see here, let a n is equal to d n into 2 power n. So, in general, if it is of a power n, so it is of a power n, g n is of a power n, we will be taking d into r power n. So, here we have d into r. What is r here? r is equal to 2, 2 power n. So, here 2 is actually the characteristic root of the given equation and this is of the form r power n. So, we can write as d n into 2 power n. So, what is the equation here? So, the equation here is a n. See here, this is a n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 is equal to this is 2 power n. 2 power n. If you substitute a n in place of a n as d n into 2 power n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 is nothing but d. In place of n we have to put n minus 1. This is 2 power n minus 1 into 2 power n. So here, so this can be written as, so this will be d n into 2 power n and if I multiply, so this is 2 d n minus 1. So this will be 2 power n by 2 is equal to 2 power n. So, now I can cancel this one. So, which one I can cancel? 
2 2 I can cancel so if I take 2 power n common so if I take this uh, d into 2 power n common then here there is n and here d into 2 power n so it will be n minus 1 into 2 power n so here d into 2 power n is equal to n minus n plus 1 into this is 2 power n now I can cancel this plus and minus so 2 power n from LHS and RHS so here so d into 1 so d value is equal to 1 so after getting d value is equal to 1 so we have a particular integral a n is equal to d n into 2 power n so our particular value will be so the solution here a n at p value so a n at p value will be actually it is a n is equal to d n into 2 power n in place of d if i put 1 so this will be n into 2 power n so this is going to be this is going to be b so this is a homogeneous equation and this solution and this is the particular solution so all together this will be the general solution so the general solution is therefore the general solution is therefore the general solution is a n is equal to this is a n at sorry homogeneous solution plus the particular equation the particular solution what is a n at h a n h is nothing but so a n h is nothing but c1 this is c1 into 2 power n and what is the particular solution here the particular solution is nothing but n times of 2 power n so this is n into this is 2 power n see here we have another condition here from the question as a naught is equal to 2 so we have a naught is equal to 2 so if i substitute the same thing as a naught is equal to 2 so put n is equal to so put n is equal to 0 forgetting a naught so a naught is equal to see here a naught is equal to c1 into 2 power 0 plus 0 so a naught is equal to c1 so what is a naught a naught is nothing but 2 c1 is equal to 2 therefore we got c1 value is equal to 2 so if i substitute here in this equation so this is a n so a n is nothing but the homogeneous solution for the particular solution therefore a n is equal to c1 into 2 power n plus n into 2 power n so in this if i put c1 is equal to 2 a n value is equal to 2 into 2 power n plus n into 2 power n so our a n value is equal to if i take 2 n common this will be 2 plus n so this is the general solution so this is the general solution of the in sorry in homogeneous recurrence relation so this is non homogeneous recurrence relation so this is the solution so this is how we have to solve and this is so simple here so first of all this is uh, in homogeneous recurrence relation first of all we have to write the homogeneous recurrence relation that is in rhs side we have to keep zero and this is the characteristic equation r minus 2 is equal to 0 and r is equal to 2 and after getting this the homogeneous solution is equal to for single root we have to take single constant that is c1 into 2 power n since the rhs is 2 power n and 2 is again the characteristic uh, root then we have to assume a n is equal to d n into 2 power n so in so this is the equation a n so this is the recurrence relation so in place of a n minus 1 we have to keep n minus 1 in place of n so a n is nothing but d n into 2 power n and this is 2 d into n minus 1 into 2 power n minus 1 is equal to 2 power n so if i uh, take d into 2 power n common so this will be n so here it is n and here it is n minus 1 if i cancel we got the value of d is equal to 1 so again if i keep the value of d is equal to 1 and this is nothing but the particular solution after getting the particular solution we have to add up the homogeneous solution as well as the particular solution so if i add these two and there is an another condition that a naught is equal to 2 for a naught uh, is equal to 2 we have to keep n is equal to 0 so a naught is equal to c1 and c1 is equal to 2 again if i substitute in place of uh, c1 as 2 so we'll be getting a n is equal to 2 power n times of 
into uh, 2 plus n. So, this is the general solution for the given in homogeneous recurrence relation. And thank you so much. And I will be posting some more uh, questions. And please uh, follow the solutions. And definitely, um, it will be very helpful for your preparation. If you really like, you know what to do. Please pass it on to your friends.